So today's job is to replace the neck seal on this Typhoon dry suit. Went diving yesterday. This is one of the members of our dive club. Got in the water and um, well, the suit got flooded. Yeah, you can look at that video if you want. It's on our Wapsack Merseyside YouTube channel. Um, diving Cap and Ray on the 13th of 5th, 21. Now he's diagnosed it as being a baggy neck seal because every time he put air in his suit, it was bubbling out of the neck and as the air bubbled out of the water, poured in, so hence he got soaked. Okay, so this one is an internal neck seal, so it fits on the inside of the suit out. Usual way of removing it, heat gun. Heat up the tape and the neck seal and then gently pry it off. As you can see, I've pulled this one off all the way around, follow the same practice all the way around, all the way around, till the neck seal is removed. Now you can see here you've got some brown glue and you've got some more modern glue, which suggests this has had more than one neck seal fitted to it in the past. Next thing to do is to remove all this old glue residue. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that, um, but if you can, you should. And this glue's coming off relatively easily, so I'll just be peeling and pulling that off. Once I've got most of it off, I'll then go round with a rag full of toluene and then rub away all of the excess glue that's on the actual um, fabric of the suit. Right, so as you can see, I've got the majority of the glue off. These last bits are quite difficult, so I'll get them off with a toluene and the rag and I'll clean all that off. Um, as a golden rule, if the glue is older, it's more difficult to get off. If the glue is newer, it's easier to come off. So if you come across a neck seal and it's a really old neck seal, then you've got real problems. You'll need to use toluene. You won't be able to scrape any of it off at all. So a bit of toluene in the rag. Rub it over. Give it a second to actually soften the glue. And then you'll find the glue will just, all those remnants will just come off. There we go, all coming up nicely now. Okay, so there we are, all nice and clean all the way around now. You don't have to move every scrap of glue, it's up to you, because the glue will stick on top of the old glue anyway, so there's no problems. But as you can see, once the challenging gets to work, the glue just goes very sticky and just crumbles away, and you can just remove it with a rub. So that is now ready for the new seal to be fitted. So this is the new bellows neck seal, called bellows because it looks like a bellows. Now because this is an internal seal, we have to clean this face here with toluene before we start the gluing process. Contour neck seals are just shaped neck seals. The idea of bellows is it gives you more flexibility when you're moving your neck without actually cracking the seal around the edge. Come in three different sizes basically, um, small, standard and large. They don't quite match to um, the fella's neck sizes, to be honest. You have to try and get the one which is best for you. But they do have the rings on them, so you can cut them to size. Golden rule is though, don't cut the rings on the neck seal until the neck seal has had a chance to stretch and then finalise its extra stretched size. Some people put them over a dive cylinder, some people put them over a plant pot, whatever, until that's stretched a bit and then do the cutting, otherwise it will baggy on you. Right, I've cleaned this off, and that's really important to clean them with toluene because when they actually manufacture these, they're made in a mould with powder so it doesn't stick, so you've got powder residue on the surface that you need to remove. If you don't remove it, when you glue it, they won't adhere properly, the glue will only stick to the powder and eventually just peel away. So this is the glue I use, Polymerine 2-pack. I don't mix the 2-pack though because it goes off too quick, I only use it as just the glue out of the tin itself. And now what you need to do is put a nice thick bead of the glue around the neck seal, this is one of those um, 20 pence brushes you buy from the kids store for kids painting and these are great because you can dispose them afterwards. So I'm going to paint all the way around the glue there and then I'll put a nice thick band of glue around the edge of the next seal. Okay you can see, nice thick band of glue around the edge. You see the way it has the effect, the glue starts to melt the rubber slightly so you get this like rippling effect. Again don't get overly paranoid about it. And on the suit you can see a nice thick bead all the way around. If there's too much on it, don't worry, later on when we wipe it off with a tally and we'll tidy it all off so it looks good apart as well. Now again, the most important uh, step now is to let this glue go completely off. Not just touch dry, but more than touch dry. Because when we start putting the next seal in, and it's a two-handed job, you need to make sure that you put it round so there's no creases in the fabric or in the next seal. And that and sometimes you have to reseat the seal as you're going along because you end up with a crease or something else around the edge. 
so you need to make sure this glue has gone off really well. Okay, so the technique of putting the seal on is literally to sit the seal in and then just go around and just nip it in places as you go around like this. And so you can see you've got a nice smooth edge all around. Then go around and that makes a solid seal. But before you actually push it all down to make sure you've got a solid seal, check the other side and make sure you've got no kinks. Make sure you've got no kinks in the fabric when it joins the seal here on the inside. Once all that's right, then apply the pressure and that will make the final seal all the way around on the inside. So this is the most difficult bit. Now if you get it wrong and you make a hash of it, don't worry, pull it all off, clean it all off with toluene and start again. But if you've got the glue right and it's really dry, you'll be able to quickly pull it off without tearing the glue off so you can reseat it again as you're going along. Okay, so here's the tool I use for making this really good seal. It's just one of those wallpaper rollers. And all I'm gonna do now is go along and round the seal, making sure that it is fully sealed all the way around. No air gaps, a nice tight seal all the way around. Now if we look inside this cuff, you can see the way the fabric. You can see that. A nice seal all the way around the edge. No pocketing, no gaps, all the way around. Now we will tidy that up with a little bit of toluene for this excess glue. But other than that, looks to be a good seal. Now if you look at the original neck seal, this also had one of these bands on it to reinforce where the neck seal joins the suit. So what we need to do next is, where the neck seal and the suit join, we need to put one of these reinforcing tapes all around it. And that's the same as before, clean it with toluene first, then put the tape all around and glue it down. So this is the rubber tape, sealing tape, seam tape we call it. Some of them come pre-glued and you just iron them on. I've never had much success with that stuff. Um, so I, I tend to do it the old fashioned way really. And it's the same as before. Remember when this is made, it's made in a mold. The mold's got chalk on it to prevent it from sticking. So you need to wash it with toluene to make sure all the chalk has usually removed so the actual tape will stick correctly to the next seal on the suit to make that secondary reinforced seal. One of the reasons I like these um, kids painting brushes so much is because the thickness of the brush is roughly the same as the thickness of the tape. So when you do this extra seal now, by just going along, you can actually paint the correct width of glue for the reinforcing tape. Okay, so there we are, nicely glued. You see the tape starting to curve again, because obviously probably it's starting to melt it and uh, stretch the surface. Suit's all done. Lots of people do neck seals and stuff for the first time, get a bit worried about what happens if I mess up. I say, don't worry about it, have a go. If you get it wrong, you can always start again, just wash it all off with toluene. Toluene. And start again. No problem. So some people have concerns sometimes about how to get the tape reinforced if the curve around the neck seal. The answer is just to stretch the outside edge as you go along. If you want to pre-stretch it before you actually fit it, you can do that as well. Literally just pinch between your fingers. Get the fingers here and just pull it apart. But it's done on the outside edge of it, not from a natural curve in the tape itself. Okay, so there's the tape fitted. And now we just need to go around it again with a little roller tool to make sure it's fully adhered all the way around. You'll notice this is where the ends overlap. And obviously I've had to glue that, so we'll do that last. Let's go around the edge, making sure there's no creases, no pocketing. Nice and level seal all the way around. And the final job now is to go around with a bit of tolerance on the rag and just tidy up any excess glue that there is on the seal just to make it look professional and neat although I have noticed recently a lot of the um, suit manufacturers now leave the actual extra glue around the edges but hey, it look pretty as well don't we? and there we go, next seal replaced all done, all sealed so hopefully back to you Steve and you can get some more diving in and you won't um, get as wet as you were getting Thanks for watching the video.